So excited. In this class, we are walking each other home today. I'll let you see what that means. Come with me. <laughs> Come on in. Ah, big breath in, family. And a big breath out. Go ahead and bring your hands right up into your heart. So I text Kenny. I'm so excited. I'm recently back from Oz, but I'm having that moment when I'm thinking about the Wizard of Oz, and I haven't thought about it, but obviously the connection is there. And I'm like, is it, is it after the witch dies that the film becomes in full color? I said, isn't that, isn't that the feeling? Because I feel like hope is restored, that Dorothy goes from being afraid, who wouldn't be afraid with the witch, and, uh, and then that feeling that each, everybody's search has brought them to, e to each other. The lion wants a heart and uh, wants courage, and the tin man wants a heart, and yet in their search, Dorothy wants to go home they find each other, and they create a home for one another. Um, and it became so real to me as I was thinking about our own practice and how we become a home for one another, and that along the way, it seems like a pretty motley crew, a lion, a tin man, a Dorothy, and they, like, they, haven't, they don't know each other, but they become friends. They take refuge in their friendship. So big breath in, family. Give your legs a shake out. Feet to the ground, and hands behind you. Let's alter how we see the world, right? Yoga is a radical shift in how we see things and how we show up. We literally walk each other home. Good, sink your hips to the ground, and come on to hands and knees. And um, sink your hips all the way back to your heels for a child. So let's just get long with the arms for a moment. Let your hands meet up and feel that connection. <sighs> Making this awesome connection with our breath and our body and our spirit. That we can find a place inside of ourselves through each other where we can feel truly at home inside ourself. Okay. Stay on the path, right? That's the yellow brick road. You have, to stay, you have to stay on the path, yogis. All fours as you breathe in. Downward loving dog. Open your hips high and spread through your hands. Great. Breathe that right leg up into the sky. Give it a nice, awesome, outrageous extension. And step your right foot into a lunge. You can even help it out. Good. And then pretty early on, for fun, we're going to duck the left knee behind the right. And drop the right knee. A little kind of go mook the legs. You might use the hands a little bit to widen the feet. Or you can lean forward and bring them to the side. With the right leg on top, let's bring the right arm underneath. Eagle's arms. And let's add some breathiness to it. So you can even stick your tongue out if this is new for you. <sighs> and then drum your breath. Like you really just find a, like this rhythm that we want to be a part of in our life that adds color to our life. A day, this daily ritual that helps us feel part of something bigger. Breathe in now and be held on your inhale. Draw even your eyes in and up towards your third eye. Good. And then feet to the ground, hands behind you. Alter it, tabletop. Throw some weight into your feet, send your knees forward, roll your hips up. Good. Sink your hips on the out breath. Cross your shins, soft jump into that downward dog. See if you can land with bent knees. Nice, nice awareness. Feel how long you can get from your wrist to your shoulders, your shoulders to your hips. Left leg high on your breath in. Step right through on your out breath. Look up for a moment so you get that big s smiling, grinning heart space across the shoulders. And then tuck the right knee behind the left. Widen the feet a little bit. 
I knew it. I had the song on repeat because it was the end of class. Class. I was like, they're going to hear this song the entire class if I don't walk over. <laughs> rope that left arm underneath. It's you know it's really cool this roping of the arms because the yellow brick road is your sashumna, like right? this energy where all these chakras, all these possibilities roam, and on either side of your nose, right. Your right and left side is your Ida and Pingala. So your energy is like the two main nadis wrap on either side of the sashumna. So feel that, this wrapping and threading. Breathe in, and then you can let the tongue out or try it with your tongue in and dance with your breath. It's like you become this musical instrument with your breath. You become the drum. You get to play the body. You get to make art with this body. Great. Last few times. And then breathe it in. Hold the breath in for a moment. And breathe it out. This time the boss and throw the legs up in the air. Right out in front. An early scooping belly excitable moment. <laughs> right? Where you you feel something, something's going on inside. Something's rising to this occasion to keep me lifted. One moment, length of the legs, breathe in. Rock your toes over your head. All the way over, halasana. And then downward dog. Cross your shins, fly off them. Nice, everybody. And then walk your feet up to meet your hands. Just feel each step. Feel that's what it takes, right? Being willing to keep showing up step by step. Inhale and roll the heart up a little bit. Feel how much lift you get out of the hips, and then drop your head as you breathe out. Good, and come all the way up to stand. Awesome. So check it in. We're going to step wide. We're going to step back. That's your OMG. And we're going to step the feet together. You're going to have to click them three times. <laughs> and then fly the arms up. So that's going to be the Surya. And then we'll come down and step back. So let's try it on the left side. I call this one love. It's kind of like stepping into the magic, which we do when we practice. We remember like, wow, this is so awesome. OMG is when we toss one foot behind and the arms back. Then feet meet. There's a bunch of clicking going on. One, two, three. Arms up. Sweet. And then your hands will come through. Okay? And we'll get this rhythmic, fluid expression happening. Shall we? Awesome. I'm so excited that you're here. OK. Step your right foot wide and let your arms just go wide, too. OMG, right foot behind your left. As your feet meet, click your heel a few times together. Have fun with it. Arms up and look up. And then bring your hands right to your heart and bend at the waist and come down. Right leg lunges on the way back, breathing in. Downward loving dog on the out breath. Now drop your knees to the ground. Sit back through your heels, look up, swing both arms up in the air. As you sink your hips towards your heels, swing your arms back and fly into plank pose. Chaturanga, as you bend your elbows, so you can just drop right to the ground. Heart splash open, roll to the tops of your feet, breathing in, upward facing. Hips to the sky, downward loving dog. Nice, everybody. Look up by your hands and Step or jump. Well, let's do the jump today. Kind of spring on the out breath. Hearts lift on your inhale. Get long through the spine. Nice. Breathe out and drop your head. All the way up to stand. Left foot right away goes wide. Put yourself in it. And back. Feet together. Click, click, click. That's your conscious connection through you and come on down. Left leg lunges. You have to take that moment to really click the heels, right? Downward dog. You have to take a moment when something's important to you to give it the attention. Roll out. Oh, drop your knees right away. Fly up. I want you to feel that big heart opener, arms up. Keep your toes tucked under. Swing your arms back. Sink your hips to your heels. Plank it out long on the inhale. Oh, lower down, breathing out. Open your heart again and again and again. Downward loving dog, breathing out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's spring the feet up, so look where you're going and aim. Stay on the path, right? Lions and tigers and bears will come breathing out. But that's not going to keep you from your, you've got the eye on the prize. All the way up. 
Step wide. Step back. Feet together. Have fun with it. Arms up. Breathe in. Through you and come on down. Right leg lunges. Hips to the sky. Drop your knees. Throw your arms up in the air. Lift that heart up and open. Swing your hips back. Plank it out. Chaturanga Dominique. Hearts open. Splash them. Lift them. Press into your toenails. Hips to the sky. Nice. Pop your feet up on your breath. Trust your breath. It'll lift you higher. Fold on the outhale. Swing up right into that step on the left side. Step into the magic. Step back. OMG. Click, click, click. And through you. Left leg lunges. Dog it on your out breath. Knees to the ground. Fly your arms up. Fly your arms up. Wing them back. No place like home. Plank it out. Hover down. Hug those elbows in or just plop to the ground. Big breathing. Hips to the sky. Downward loving dog. Look where you're going and go. That's how we do. Heads off. Breathing out. Good. All the way up. Breathe in. This time bend your knees for Ukatasana. Nice, everybody. That was really great. Playing with that balance, right? Action. And then this surrender, this spiritual atmosphere of letting go. Sit a little deeper, but lift a little higher. Uh-huh. Sit even deeper, lift a little even higher. <laughs> nice. It's possible, right? Fold on over, breathing out. If you're ready for a jump, jump back or walk back, and I'll meet you in a dog. We're going to set up a flow. And uh, it would be nice to bring it into your day. You can always watch it later. Let's start with warrior one, right leg high. Breathe up, step through. It gives you some momentum there. First warrior. Now check it in in your first warrior. You're going to swing your arms back, lengthen your right leg. Get that big lift through your heart. And then as you bend, the left arm underneath your right. You're going to get those eagle arms that we hit earlier. Yeah, send that right shin forward, totally. Let the tailbone, away from the tailbone, having some weight. Like stretch your skin, the skin of your breath, the skin of your soul up. Good. And then open into triangle pose. Feel the arms unfurl and the leg get long and the heart open. Pretty. And then the length of the legs and the stretch of your breath. Revolve the heart up out of the lower belly. Let's draw your head back in line so everything lines up in a kind of a very natural way. Climb your left arm behind your back. Yes. Feel like you can breathe into the back of those shoulder blades and then stretch the front of your heart up and open. Good. Climb your right arm alongside your head. Root down through your feet, up and back for peaceful warrior. Sit down through the hips. Good. Hands by your front foot. So it's a downward dog and then onto your knees for the vinyasa today. A little different. Drop your knees and then just complete like you're all in. You're all in. You're staying on the path no matter what. Even when those flying monkeys come, <laughs> nothing's going to keep you from transforming, awakening. Left leg high. That was hot. Step through. Make it yours. On your breath. First warrior. Now lengthen that leg. Swing your arms back. Swing the arms back. It's really fun. It gives you a nice big lift. And then as you bend, start bending, right arm comes underneath. Coiling. You know, you know it's like our, our life doesn't work in a straight line. <laughs> right? Spiritual progress isn't like, oh, I take a step. And it works just like that. It's like we don't know which way it's going to move. That's why we have to keep showing up, right? Take your time. Lengthen the leg. Open the arms. Lift the heart. Let the breath get you open and big. Nice. Feel the arches of the feet lift as the ball of the foot and the heels communicate and bring that lift into the belly as the tailbone kind of moves in and stretches the arms away from each other. Great. Drop that arm behind your back. Get into the, where all, the, all that juju is in the shoulders. Breathe through your nose. If you can, press into this hand into your leg and lift up in the way. Nope. Press down to lift up. Yes. 
Good. Up and back. So send your left arm long. Peaceful warrior. Up and back. Stretch your heart away out of your hips. Good. Hands hit the ground. Dog it. Drop the knees. Fly your arms up. Feel your spirit soar. Yes, L. Sink back through your hips. Fly into the future <laughs> by being present. Splash those hearts open. Hips to the sky. Let's build on that flow today. Right leg opens. Breathing in. Step right up. One. Remember how it starts? Arms swing back, leg goes long. Left arm comes underneath. Yes. Triangle pose. Swirl open. It's almost like you're uncovering something. You know, when you first come to yoga, they say, you're going to realize your full potential. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, that sounds so good. I want to do that. I want to have my whole potential revealed. Left arm behind your back. We're going to try something here. We're going to move toward Ardha Chandrasana, so bend your right knee. Walk your right hand to the right side of your pinky toe. Going to keep your left arm behind your back today and start to float your left leg up by shifting your weight into that right foot. Brilliant. Now, can you curl the heart open a little bit, L, with that hand behind? And get long. Feel the extension of your left heel. Brighten up your foot. Give you that room to zoom the heart forward and up out of the hips. Can you keep your left hand there and bend your left knee with your right hand to your left foot? Right hand to your left foot. Other right hand. I know. It's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. Nice. Okay. Fly back into your extended angle. Right arm underneath your right knee. Left arm behind your back. We're going to, we're going to the paradise. We're going to paradise. We're going to Oz. We're not stopping halfway. We're going all the way. That's the design of this, that we're limitless and we're boundless. So some of the obstacles come along the way. Fear, anger, doubt. Step up, bird of paradise, left foot up to meet your right. You might lose a foot here or there. You can always turn it into another shape. That's how these practices are born. Yeah, open the leg up, pretty. Yeah, get, get, get down, get down on it. To get, you gotta get down to get up. I think James Brown said that, not me. Not me, although I'd love to say I came up with it. Let's, let's lower down for a squat and turn into a crow. So feet come down, elbows come in. Get a nice big lift through the heart as you relax your shoulders. And you know what, today, let's lean the knees into the armpits. Can you go for the armpits? It actually becomes a crane pose. So sink the, shift the shin, knees forward. Yeah, see if you can go right into the armpit. Lift the back of the waist. Energize those inner thighs from your feet. So move the inner thighs in and away. Good. And step, step, or jump. Splash your way back. Yeah, a few hops. That's a great idea. Maybe drop the knees and get that big splash of the heart open. Let's all do that. You get to see that we're a little bit on, mecha on mechanical, right? We go right back into chaturanga. It's okay. But... We can see that sometimes we're on automatic. So we get, yoga makes us aware of our habits, and then we get to change them. Left leg opens, opens the same way, and then we add on. Step through, rise up, rise up. It's your highest self, highest self. Leg goes long, what happens next? Remember it? Arms swing back. That's it, April, right arm underneath your left. Mm, and then have fun with this where you get long and then open and reveal yourself. Loosen the arms away. It's almost like you can come here and take your mask off and stay for a while. And if you fall, guess what? We'll help you up. Right arm behind your back. Sometimes we, we practice getting up again, right? We just get... Up again, no matter how many times we've fallen. Okay, are you ready? Your hand's going to stay there. Start bending that front knee, Dominique. Get ready for your Arda. There's a, a shift, right? It's a shift in, a, in weight, a shift in awareness, a shift in how you see the world and how you show up in it. Right now we want to give back. We're yogis. How about the left hand to the right foot? 
Oh, April. Ah! Right? You're like, I'm going to Oz. If I fall, that's part of, part of it. That's how I learn. Pretty L. Nice, everybody. Fly back and get ready for that big bind, that embrace. Right? We want to feel, even when we're bound, we're in a situation that we don't love so much that we can practice being free in it. That we can be in that situation when we can feel constricted and breathe through it. That we can do anything for one more breath. I'm sure of it. I'm really sure of it. Right foot up to meet your left. But we always forget. I forget to breathe. Steady onto that right leg. Root down and then you get the rise, right? It's beautiful. See if you can draw the hands a little bit down and back to lift the heart. Awesome. Open the leg against the arm. Even give a little spread through those toes. Oh, L. Oh, open them. Open them, L. Yes. The ballet toes become yogi toes. Squat it. Squat, squat time. Let's take one opening from side to side. These are always fun. Just gives you a little play. Sometimes something opens in your practice that you couldn't see before, and it really opens you up to insight in your life. It's, so, it's such a powerful way to live. Okay, so this one that we're going to try is a little different because we tried the crow last time. You're going to walk your hands behind your heels and sit on your arms. And you got some club music to go with it. Look up. Sit. Falling is how you learn. My teacher always said, I wish you as many mistakes as possible. And guess what? Now you can drop right onto your booty. You did it, L. There you go. Ultra pose. You just pop those feet down and the heart up. Let's hear it. Breathing in. Good. Breathing out. Sit your hips down. Take the left leg long, right foot into your elbow, rock it out. Roll the back up, it's kind of hunches, right? Roll the back up, okay. right foot, top of your left thigh. If, it, if the knee's way high, drop the foot on the inside. Now we played with those arms earlier. Let's see if, let's left arm under for just a moment. And then left arm under, right arm up. And then go across, so you get a nice big stretch in length. Taking the right waist, the one that usually wants to lift. See if that weight of the right arm allows those right ribs, that's it, to soften down a little bit. Nice. And then see where your breath's at. Stretch the heart long across the leg. Nice, everyone. Great. Sweep it up. Stargazer. Right hand drops behind you. Left arm swirls to the sky. Let the foot fall inside. Great. Float that back leg off for just a minute. Bend your knee and nab your foot. Right, we did that in Arda with, let's, and then coil the spine into the front of the body. And then that, you, up to you. You might feel the shoulder blades just come a little closer in to lift the heart space. Good. Take the leg long. Nice, everybody, that was hot. Have a seat. Let's half lotus the other side. Walk that foot up there. Sometimes it doesn't stay. It's like, it's like a little puppy there. It's like our mind, right? The run. We're like, come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, yeah, take it into the arm first and play a little bit. That'll also open the hips and the hip joint. And then there's, there's synovial fluid in there, and that starts, woo. Then that fluid kicks in and start lubricating the joints. Right? Okay. And then nab, see if it lands now a little closer to the. 
up to you, arms up and come forward or see if you can, just see where the arm goes. Yeah. Take that one arm under and lift. And then relax the shoulders down. Good. Throw the arms the other way. I think it's this left arm. So then that way you're, come, you're adding the weight to the left side to come across. Yep. Feel the breath come in. Like just let it come into you and then feel like you can let it go. Like you're at the filling station, right? <laughs> you're filling up. You're plugging into spirit. You've got a physical practice that's very spiritual, that connects you with meaning, gives your life purpose. Drop the foot, swirl it up, lift it up and away. Stargaza. Really beautiful practice, everybody, today. Can you get a little bit more lift, some more lightness? Can the breath lift you a little higher? Float that foot off the ground. Sometimes it's a little knee heavy. If you're at home, you might want to blanket under there. And then bend the foot, April. Yes. Get that heart filled up. Awesome. Take your leg long. Sink your hips down. Throw your legs out. Tent your finger. In fact, you know, come onto your fingerprints. Lift your hips a little bit. Lift the legs. Let the pubic bone soften back. Let the roll the heart up, and then sink your hips down. Good. Walk. Walk into yourself. Literally, meet yourself here. And then keep your breath, even though you're, the body's not moving as much now. Let the dance of breath. It's a constant, but now you're like, I'm going to click my heels. I'm going to bring my consciousness into everything I do. Making everything more aware, more awake. Bringing more energy, more forgiveness to everything that I do. Last move of the day. Check it in. Left hand to the outside of the right foot. Right hand to the outside of the left foot. There's a subtle twist, Al. You're going to roll your head and chest to the right side. See if you notice how the hip wants to lift, right? So sink through the hips and see if you can roll your head. Roll the right waist up. Sink the thighs down. Slip the back ribs down and back and in to lift the chest. Pretty. And then check in the other side. It's one of those things where there's not a lot of movement, but there's a movement in that shift. You know, like some other side to it, some other side of something, some other dimension to myself. And maybe to somebody else that you're not, you haven't been really re ready to see their side of of the story. Good. Breathe it up, everybody. Now let's check this in for the final moment. Up to you, but I thought we could try it together. Keep a little room between your feet. It's like ultra pose, but we don't bend the knees. It's called Purvottanasana. So hands behind you. No, they can come in. They can come sideways, or they can go out. Just notice which way your hand likes it. That's part of the exploration. There's not a way that you like it is different. They're similar. But usually we find, okay? So you gotta really press down through the feet and the hands. Inhale up. Inhale up. Inhale up. Yes! Arc those hips up. Big breath in. Let a sound out. That's not a sound, that was a breath. Breathe in. You're a lion. Okay, have a seat. Cross your ankles for a moment so you're not going from, from here to here. Down, arms up. Lower down. Shavasana. <laughs> Hands open. Feet wide. Let go deeply. It's 
beyond what the mind can see. It's over the rainbow. It's beyond, beyond the beyond. <laughs>